All right, so today we have a box from CGC. They have these wonderful distinctive boxes that uh, everything always arrives safely in. Even though you can see there's a ding on the side. They have a pretty good cushion all around them. It's just a kind of a void between the edge of the box and the merchandise. I'm a big fan of this box design. I always love to have them around to ship fancy toys out for people in. Uh, so let's see what's in here. Oh, we got modern stuff. So a lot of modern Star Wars stuff is actually pretty good these days. And this one's pretty interesting because it was actually a pack-in with some toys. So I don't know if anybody's going to care about that or not. But sure someday somebody will. There's uh, these lovely French Titans comics with these painted Star Wars covers that are, you know, I just, I can't get enough of these things. That's pretty high grade for these. They're just, you don't find them around in good condition. I mean, this one, I don't know why Luke Skywalker like choking this dude in space or what. I mean, even if he is, couldn't he hit just use the force through the window? What's you know, mysteries abound in France, apparently. Um, you know, Michelangelo one shot from '86. That's you know, nine eight. Good as it gets. They do it early Eastern Laird art. Ugh, let's never look at that again. Somebody buy it, please. Okay, so this is. There's more of these in here. This right here is an interesting book. Less so because it is Masters of the Universe, but more so because in this book, even though it's not noted on the label, is the first appearance of that one thing. That's a show on Amazon. What's it called? Invincible. Invincible. There is like a six page Invincible story. It says a preview right here, but it's a full on like story in there. And that is the first published Invincible story, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. That's a good, uh, you know, Cap versus Hydra action. I think that guy's a wife beater. I don't know, I don't read much comics, but looks like a wife beater. I did just show up in What If. I ain't watched an episode, man. No spoilers. Jeez. <laughs> Pretty wicked looking Scarlet Witch cover. Um, some Black Widow stuff. Michael Jordan. I don't know if uh, how many of you know about personality comics, but they did comics of famous personalities and they got all kinds of just crazy goofy stuff. And the, uh, Quality of the artwork varies wildly. It's another uh, couple of different covers for that same issue with the Invincible preview that we were just talking about. I think the gold one that we saw first is the fanciest. I'll leave that little guy. Oh. And we somehow got cut off before we got this little tiny fella from uh, it's a Micro Machines insert. I don't remember ever seeing these. I guess they probably came in box sets or something. Some expanded Edivores, uh, French Chizor, Chizor, something. This is the true way to learn the deadliest of all martial arts is through one of these comics. Some Venom stuff. I'm sure somebody that's not me is excited about that. And these are fun. These are some Italian Star Wars comics from back in the day. These published concurrently with the Marvel stuff here. It is just Marvel reprints, but it's a pretty different format. And on the interiors of these, and it's a beautiful number one redo. Um, it's all kinds of stuff. Stop. And it's another box that we'll do in a separate video because I have a feeling I'm running out of space on my camera. So let's see some more of these Italian Star Wars comics. But yeah, a lot of these have fold out posters and like photos from the movies and all kinds of weird stuff in them. They're actually really cool once you open them up. And, uh, 
Yeah, they're pretty much all just like redrawn versions of Marvel covers. But anyways, there is a fun box of goodies that will be available soon.